Good, Good morning, morning everyone. everyone. What is going on? We are waking up very energized and excited. Yes. And you can probably see the clock. It's not actually morning. It is actually afternoon, but we are very excited because early afternoon. Yesterday was the subscription launch and it, it blew, blew us. us out of the water. We are <laughs> shocked. We are shocked, but we're actually going to talk about all of our reactions tomorrow. Yes. Leave that out of this. But we just got our groceries delivered and the thing on Instacart is that we don't really like eyeball shop anymore like when you walk no. in a grocery you're always like "Ooh, that looks good that looks good maybe we should try that i'm notorious for going to the grocery store like super hungry which obviously i know is a bad thing to do but like when we would go in person i would do that and i would really eyeball shop all the time and part of that was hunger shopping part of that was just like eyeball shopping wanting never to wanting to try new things when you're hungry but yeah we don't get to do that at all anymore we almost always have our groceries delivered and just get the things that we know that we like but today holly's, holly's here. here say good morning everyone so uh, my mom gave me this toy and i'm trying to play with it um i added something to my cart and it was like you might also like this which i like never really feel like they do that but we have a new drink here i've never seen this brand have you no. Tapachi prickly pear lime. So we're going to do an official taste test. I have no idea if this is going to be like sparkling water or is this going to be like a juice? First you got to smell it. What does it smell like? Mmm, smells so good. Does it? Mm -hmm. Made in Mexico. Oh, actually that does smell good. I, oh, it's vegan, naturally sweetened, no added colors, non-GMO, gut health, and gluten free. I thought it was gonna be like a juice. Okay. Do you? Or do you think it's gonna Is be? Is it like, like a low calorie thing or no? It has 45, so probably does have juice in there. That's not bad. It does say sparkling water though. Ooh. Okay. That is not like anything. It's refreshing, right? This is I like love that. A summer drink. Well, kind of gets you with the little like tartness at the end. Yeah, there's a little. I think that's the lime. Prickly pear. What even is a prickly pear? I don't know. But I have found something really fun. What? So I wanted to get Nick's reaction, and I think y'all will really enjoy this. In our basement, actually where Tails Up Pup originated the OG Are we going to the basement right now? We are. Is it cold out? Do I need a jacket? Well, we won't be out for long. Oh, we won't be out for long. I found some artifacts. Some straight up fossils. Oh my gosh, the dogs are trying to trip me here. Some fossils in the basement. And I was dying when I saw this. It's sunny. Wait, you have the key? I have the key. We have to go outside to get down here. Look how nice it is. Would have been a perfect day for a walk. I know, too bad we can't go. We're going to a baby shower in just an hour or so. So that's fun. So imagine this, it's 2018. You're Danny and Nick and Holly and Gracie. You walk in this door to find Tails Up Pup. There are many vlogs that were filmed down here where this was it. Now it is a gym. Have we shown this recently? I don't know. I feel like we kind of did, maybe in Vlogmas or something. Well, if you didn't know, is the lighting better on the camera yet? Yeah, it looks okay, good. If you didn't know, this was like the location of Tales of Pup. The first table was right here. It was a table where the sewing machine and a little cutting mat was, so Danielle sat there, and I cut right here, and eventually we had a, our sewing desk there, and then a table here to cut, and it was like this for a long time. We had the lights installed to make it a little bit like lighter down here, and but now obviously it's a workout room. We got the squat rack, bench, all the stuff, rowing machine behind you, a Peloton over here. So like these are the things that you man know, cave. Yeah, man cave. Danielle comes down here to work out, but I, I work out here at least four to five times a week. No, four so. to seven days a week. <laughs> Said four to five. You said four to five, but sometimes you work out every single day. Yeah, that's true. So, but to seven. at least that. So, and yeah. You know, the cutting table is in here. This is <laughs> our uh, crazy, hectic basement, but this is the table that we cut and sewed on for the first year and some. And I have something crazy to say. Nick isn't going to like this. What? So, this room 
looks pretty nice. Uh, my mom and stepdad came and helped us like do the walls like this. Um, they got us this tree to make it. This room has windows, as you can see, where the other one doesn't. And we redid this when Tales of Pup was here, and Nick said we couldn't move the sewing room into here. Well, and that this was the workout room before. There was no little home gym or area, so the work was over there, and the home little home gym was in here. And I petitioned to switch, and that this was going to be Tales of Pup's room, and that was going to be the gym, and he said no. We got an office instead. We did, eventually. <laughs> so that is what happened. But look, these drawers are the OG drawers. Okay, actually, right before we hired our first employee, I bought this, which is the same pattern, but different material, and this giant thing to make a shirt out of this. Remember that? Mm -hmm, I do. This but is, that never happened. Then we got employees, we got much busier, and I never have made my shirt. So this is just fabric. That is quite sad. But there are straight up fossils in here. Look, there's old thread in here. There is some fun things. So I wanted to show you some of the artifacts. Artifacts? I'm ready. When was the last time you've seen any of these things? I don't even know what you're about to show me. Okay. Don't think, look at me. I, I think the last time I've seen anything that she's pulling out of these drawers was probably when Tails Up Pup moved. So that's over 18 months ago, at least. Okay. Some of these are probably like original like things. That, bandanas for days. But remember, this was like very early on. So what's your reaction to how the bandana is now versus... Way more pointy in this one. No tag. No tag. Um, but overall pretty similar. All the stuff that Danielle would be, Danielle and I would be nitpicky about now, this bandana has. So not, not bad, but we've evolved in a much better way. Overall, it's similar, but we've just learned and perfected the look. We basically are yeah. about to do the same kind of design. I love this green, actually. Yeah, it's the tie-dye green. Kind of tie-dye green. Tie -dye okay, this like was, oh, here's literally our first bandana. Ever? One of. Oh, yeah, this one is. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible, straight up trash. Did you even point it? Nope. <laughs> But remember, this was like one of the very, this one, okay, we only had two sizes when we had this. We had small and large. So this is like not even a size that we have anymore. Yeah, what even this is this? This bandana They're though, very pointy. You mean like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> very sharp cut. This was our first bandana that, that like, popped off. Popped, <laughs> popped off. This was the first one, like, so many people, and like, if we look back, it probably was like 10, but like, it like felt like pattern. so many people, it was definitely more than 10. So many people wanted that one, and I, there's a picture. Ooh, North Pole plaid. Yeah, we've had that since the first Christmas. Yeah, this has like been a good seller for a long time. Remember, Holly was a model one time in the very beginning. Oh, this is cute. Look, I didn't even read it right. Look. There's still a piece in there, I think. <laughs> wow. We did our first one for a brand. That's kind of cool. Yep. Bald birds. Bald birds. This is when you went to Bald Birds? Yeah. We didn't have tags when you did that? We we went when I was we were so early on. Wow. Okay. Now to the more fun things. That was pretty cool, though. Our stencils. <gasps> so that was before it turned into uh, half of it. Whoa, this small is like a medium now. It's definitely not the first stencil because the first stencil was paper. But yeah, so now if you like for watch the videos, you've seen like our stencils are like made out of like a this is probably board before. quality no. um, or wood. And these are cardboard. So these would get cut and nicked up a lot in just weird areas. I was going to say that these were before that, but we definitely went back to paper. We did that because the other one was definitely first. We it, had to make new stencils like every week. So yeah, right? we, yeah, we would cut them out of this and then have to make them very often. And then we did to the fold with paper. Like we didn't even, we were getting confused so we had to write where the fold was so we went from paper to cardboard to cardboard and then my mom got us this and was like why don't you guys Whoa. try this stuff so we did these which definitely made it better but you can see we still could cut through that mm -hmm. and now and really thin I mean these are really thin did we go to anything between this and look at the tape now? that we had to put on it there's tape on this one because it was getting cut and then we, well, there probably were some other stencils from between Well, look there. at how, these are so inaccurate from one another. 
But now we have really thick wood, as you guys see in our vlogs day to day now. But this is crazy. Um, we have an old tie on, but this looks similar. These to sizes are pretty. These ones are pretty similar sizes to what we have now, actually. There's more stencils in here. Um, but this was really fun. This part. Okay, well, for what's coming next? I wonder. See. This is one of our, we can't really show it to the camera, but I can show it to you. One of our Well, it's an early, order sheet. It's an the order The reason sheet. we can't show it is because it looks like the people's emails are on this. Yes. But you can see it goes back to order. Order 300? Look, 250, 247. So it goes all the way back to our 247th order. And then like, let me try to cover. To put something. that into perspective, if we're going back to order 200, we're on order probably, what are you, what do you think? A little over 30,000? 30, 30, yeah. So there's been 30,000 orders this, since then. And we're looking back at order 200. The idea was born in late September of 2018. That's crazy. This is the first Christmas. We were already in order 300 by Christmas. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So like, look, we... Anna. had no way for the knit dog names to populate so I had to come hand write it in the list what name went with what thing mm -hmm. do you remember that kind of like that is crazy that I was like yeah I'll just write them all in there and the really fun thing is that for sure one person on here is still a customer to this day are you serious too she's um, her name's Samantha. She's right here. Order number 306. She got the apple crisp plaid. And we have pictures of her and her dog and our bandanas from her pregnancy announcement, from her wedding. Oh, I know. I yeah. know these ones. So that is what is so cool is that... Who Lifelong knows? Tupper. 306 may have been her first order or may not have been, but she is from... 2018 OG. and she's still we've been in all of her special moments and it is so cool mm -hmm. that we like literally have someone from start to now that makes me like almost here. emotional like wanting to you know i wonder if anyone else on here is because if you guys way. didn't know we always get asked what our favorite part of like tales of pup is and working at tales of pup um owning tales of pup and that is like being part of everybody's special moments whether that's weddings pregnancy announcements um any of those graduation all those things are probably or even just like part of a family photo on christmas those special moments are like why we do what we do and it's probably the best or one of the best parts of the job i'm searching to see if there's anyone else that i know based well, on 200 so this is oh yeah this is 208 208. She got a dog mom t shirt. Wow. That's crazy, right? 208 is probably the oldest one on here. That is crazy. It is crazy. 261. Tails Up Pup Comfort Colors t shirt with a pocket. Wow. We sold Tails Up Pup merch from the beginning. Okay, look at this. This is not as. This is fun. This is from when we were in here, but not as old. This is from the second Christmas. We had... <laughs> we were going to a market for our first time. <laughs> and I didn't know what my setup was going to look like, so I sketched it out. It really did end up looking just like this, didn't it? It did. <laughs> look, I wrote water for the dogs. Biscuits for the dogs. Oh, like I wanted to have balloons. We definitely never got balloons. Good thing, because it's so windy there. But we would go to the local market and set our little booth up. And it really did. We had a picture banner just like this, didn't we? we? Did. That's so funny. Why don't you think that's that funny? Wait, wait, wait. I bet that we're... No, that picture banner is probably... There's some of the pictures in here, but the... Wait, like, is it... Would it be over in one of these boxes, maybe? Yeah, it would. But there's some pictures in here. Look, we made these Should cards look? for our market. We made these things that we folded in half and then would be up there so people could know the price. But this is from the second Christmas. But look, we were like pre-cut things and we pre-cut one of each size. <laughs> this one had fives. But that's like... Oh, these had more. This was when Tori worked here and she hand wrote all of our pre-cut stuff for us. Oh, how the times have turned. Tables have turned, times have changed. <laughs> When you think about it like that, things have changed so much in three years. This, this is what the banner's like. Oh, me and Grace have aged so much. <laughs> Look how cute we are. Oh. She was so little. This is the first banner, I think. I think I had one too many pictures that never got to get hung on there. I don't look like that anymore. Let me try. 
still really pretty. But I looked way younger. Back before we no. knew how to get Gracie to smile in photos. Yeah. Show like that one. Gracie's pissed. So at the time of this picture, I was working at a boutique for a different YouTuber. And that's what I'm wearing here. A sweater that I got from her boutique. I was like modeling there part time and we were doing Tales of Pup part time. Mostly full time. And Gracie was a, a tiny baby. It's so fun, right? Look at the pretty tree behind us, at least. It's really cool that we still save this stuff. I am definitely a more nostalgic person than Danielle is. Um, so I, like, hate throwing anything away, particularly, like, if there's, like, some special memory involved with it. So it's very cool to look back at all of this stuff. I wonder, like, if in 10 years we'll still have these things. I will. I still keep every like list that we make that has like everybody's order on it i still keep all of those i have a stack like this big yeah that's a little unnecessary but it's kind of i don't know here's your last thing okay this isn't gonna be surprising because you remember this okay let's see our old logo oh my goodness <laughs> one time i don't know if we ever said this on a vlog or not Someone told Nick, why is the dog pooping out the word pup? And from that day, we had to get a new logo. Yeah. Let me see it closer up. <laughs> we thought it was cute at the time. The dog is pooping out the pup, I think. Well, I made this on Canva, so it was the best of my abilities at the time. And we did like it at the time, or we, we wouldn't have done we it. We did like it at the time. It's kind of like when you have an idea and you're so excited, I think almost anything that shows like, oh, you're a company and you have your logo is fun. Do you think in years we'll look back on this and then be like, have a whole different logo mm. and we'll have thought our logo, you know, like, will we have this same reaction or is this like as bad as it gets? <laughs> that, well, that's kind of as bad as it gets, but I, I love our logo now. Yeah, we both do, but we liked it at this time. Yeah, but I think we liked it, but we because we couldn't do anything better mm -hmm. ourselves. Well, this was really fun. What was your most surprising thing? Well, it was pretty crazy to look back. I mean, we touch the bandanas all the time now, so it's pretty crazy to look back at like some of these and say like, you know, that was what it used to be. Like Gracie's hair is still on this. <laughs> <laughs> like we we probably ended up taking Holly's bandana and putting it on Gracie because she wouldn't sit still. There is a picture so, of Holly in this though. Can you insert it to show? If you can find it for I, me. I know where it is. Okay. It's really cute of her. She was a puppy. So yeah, that's surprising. It's just, I think the most surprising thing about this whole thing is to like look back on the journey, like and the memories that come to mind when I see this stuff, remembering working down in this basement all the time. You know, it feels like we basically worked in this basement almost as long as we've been in our offices. If One you, day? If that, don't you think? Haven't we? So Tales of Pup has been, his birthday is a little over three years old, right? We were in this basement for 18 months and we have been basically in our office a little over 18 months. So. This feels like, like not that long ago, right? When we worked here? Yeah. Uh, this stuff. The stuff maybe feels not that long ago, but I feel like we've been in our office for a long time. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know. What thought was in my brain was that one day this fossil could be worth money. Why? Because <laughs> it's like, if, <laughs> if Tales of Pup was a big company and like, you know, what if it became the next PetSmart and then someone was like, I want something from when it first started. Could be. <laughs> and then I was thinking that you're going to say no one would ever pay money for this. <laughs> Probably would not pay money for that, but... Nonetheless, I want to keep them because they are special to me. One thing I was wondering too is like, do people ever keep the cards that we send in there? Because like the cards over time have changed and like it'd be really fun like to see the cards from back then. Because yeah. I know like when I used to have a bulletin board in my room before like I was married, I used to keep things from companies I liked and I would pin them up. So I don't know if anyone has stuff like that, but that would be cool to see. That would be cool to see. But Maybe they do. Thanks for watching. This was so fun. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys had fun seeing some Tales of Pup fossils. And stay tuned for Monday because we're going to be like getting everybody, all the team's reactions from the subscription launch and kind of just going through all of that because like we said, it blew us away. And this is also a memo. Sorry that you should keep things that are important because yeah, you'll true. be happy one day when you look back and you'll be like, oh, that was so cute. It may not seem important to keep now, but three, five, ten years in the future, you're going to look back and be like, that's a pretty cool little thing that I kept. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.